The jungle holds many mysteries. How old is it? How deep is its heart? What made that weird sound just now? And when an ape dies, how do his people say goodbye? That's Ape's Uncle Mitch, or at least a banana tribute to him. He was caught in a rhino flood, and as every ape knows, there's no escape from a rhino flood. I'm here at an ape ritual of sad feelings, never before seen by science. Nobel Prize, here I come. <laughs> Let the feast begin! Yeah! I'm here! I'm, I'm here! Did I miss the memorial? <laughs> Ice creaming? Yes. Yes, it appears I did. George want try new Mitch flavor. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> Waffle! So typical, bro. Late for Uncle Mitch's funeral? Would you excuse this time, huh? And don't say lifting, because I know you don't. Actually, Ted, George and I were testing out this. Oh, George inside egg! Amazing, isn't it? I call it my rhino flood emergency steroid. Now we won't lose anyone else in the rhino floods. Ah! Real apes don't hide in big dumb balls, bro. Ah! Big dumb balls, bro. Big dumb balls, bro. Real apes don't do watercolors, bro. Real apes don't ride scooters, bro. Real apes don't do historical reenactments, bro. <laughs> Walkers. <gasps> no legs! Super Superman! <laughs> no legs born before legs invented. Go! <sighs> oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback! Please, a silverback's the equivalent of an ape mullet. It's out of date, it's ugly, and it smells like farts. <laughs> what? Am I right? Am I right? Come on! Oh my gosh, I'm not right! Ah! It was a terrible ape faux pas. If only Magnolia had taken a minute to watch the following audio-visual presentation. Many years ago, uh, before legs were invented, No Legs was a true ape hero. For being an all-round simian superstar, the ape gods bestowed upon No Legs the world's first silverback. And since that day, a silverback embodies ape achievement in the simian trifecta of lifting, charging, and intimidation. Yes, a silverback is the icing on the hairy brown cupcake of all ape kind. I've seen it now! I've seen it now! Fine. Oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Silverbacks are a fine and noble ape custom. By tradition, your uncle Silverback passes to the apest of his family. Although, for the record, I think you're all a bunch of lazy leg standers. Sorry, bro, but you're as ape as a grape. Lay it on me, bub. I am not as ape as a grape. <gasps> Someone just grew a pair of wheels. I am as ape as an ape. I challenge you for Uncle Mitch's silverback. Bring it on, bro. That right. A bring it to Ted. A bring it all to Ted. Huh? Indeed. What have I done? What have you done? You made this old ape happy. <gasps> oh, snake pants. Ever since we were kids, Ted believed he was twice the ape I was. But I too can beat my chest in a gorilla-esque fashion. First, maybe ape not once say gorilla ask anymore. Second, George have planned to help ape win silverback. Ah! Ah! Get that off me! First, let help find ape dinner ape. Ah! Ah, my eyes! He has my eyes! Bad Ursula, give ape eyes back. Ah! First silverback challenge is... Uh, uh, yeah, 
Yes, lifting. That's right. <laughs> Lift that! A termite? But it only weighs a minuscule amount. No! Go, 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 no! That was easy. Challenge two, charging. Ursula can count. Ape, roar! That! I don't see how charging at that will help. No, ape! Roar! Go, 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 go! <laughs> My word, that felt quite primal. Watch out, Ted, you won't know what hit you! <laughs> Um, how'd that help, Ape? It's training. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula Mink laugh laugh. <laughs> Perfectly preserved. No! You win, Timon and Timon and Dater! Go! I am so sorry. Here, let me get that. Hold on. Is this Radiolis Florensis? What a beautiful stable. Ah! <laughs> 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 Ursula, give up! George, think ape ready to. Apes, we gather here today to determine which of Mitch's nephews is worthy of his silverback. Ape. Or, ah, who are we kidding? Ted's gonna win. George, believe in you, ape. Be best ape ape can be. Ape mentor George. Now George mentor ape. I can do this. I can do this. I can. Oh. Ted, ape, show me how you can lift. <laughs> Excelsior! Point to Ted. Challenge two. Impress me with your apiest. Charge! Right, here we go! Point to ten! Ape not have to do this. Ape always be ape in George's heart. Thank you, George. But this is my one chance to prove I'm as proper an ape as ten. I have an announcement. All your toes disgust me! Now, the last ape event, Intimidation. <laughs> what do you got, bro? Uh-huh. Point for ten! Which means, Ted wins the silver bag! Oh, yeah! Feel the glory! George, sorry, ape. But... Like I said, bro, an ape is a grape. <laughs> Forget it, bro! This silver bag belongs on a real ape. I am a real ape. It belongs to me. Rhino? That really wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you? Me? You? I mean, you are? 
Bro, you're a terrible ape, but you're also an awesome ape. If you catch what I did there. No idea, but I can live with it. Ape and Ted okay. Holy banana, Ape Silverback! You look good on Ape. Hey, Ape not busy. Want Mark trees with Ursula Friday night? Truly flattered, but no. I never really wanted this. I just wanted respect. Ted, you should be the Silverback in the family. Sweet, and all is right in the Broniverse. Hey. I totally mark trees with you. You can watch me lift stuff after. Hmm, what do you say? Dad, <laughs> Ursula, give Ted eyes back. <laughs> the jungle. A peaceful, tranquil place. <laughs> And so it begins. Of the jungle, comma, George. Normally, a happy-go-lucky jungle king beloved by all. But now, 16 months since his last bath, he's a teeming mass of filth and bacteria. His loincloth dissolved weeks ago, replaced by leopard print mold. His scalp contains approximately 10,000 new species alone. Let's not even go there. Hello? Hello, jungle! It's that time! No, 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 no! George love dirt! George hate that! It's a dirty job, but eh, you know the rest. It's only once every couple of years, George. Ugh, need stronger brush. It's for your Ooh. own? Actually, no. It's for everyone else's good. <laughs> Fine, George clean. Happy now? Taco, taco. Whoa! Whose idea was it to polish him? Doesn't that feel better, George? George, do feel lighter. We did scrub a lot of, let's call it stuff, off you. Whoops! Missed a spot! Ah, that not spot, that Olaf! Sure, oh. you want to keep your dirt. I understand. But you'll get super gross and filthy all over again soon if you... Ah! Not it, it's Olaf. Say hello to people, Olaf. John Obita? If you're asking if I knew George had a bot fly living in him, I thought it would teach him responsibility. Olaf and George meet long time ago. Whoa! Whoa! PMI! Stop the dissolve! Oh, please, Mama, do not make me look! Olaf, Mom, and Dad ask George to take care of babies. George loves babies. So King of Jungle promised to keep babies until babies fly away. George, so proud. You all have bright future ahead. Huh? Olaf no grow wings, so Olaf and George stick together instead. Best friends forever. Oh.
George. <laughs> Why water leak from eyes? Why belly going not? It's because you're sad, George. Sad that <sighs> Magnolia took away the bug living under your skin. Sheesh, sorry already. George don't want to be sad. I'm sorry, old sport. Feelings, even sad ones, are part of life. <laughs> So, George searched the jungle for animals that never felt sad, so he could, um, become those animals? Don't blame me, it's his plan. George? George! They're parasites! Give me a break! Hmm, his trail of tears stops here, in Slothborough. George? Who George? No George here. Me Sloth now. Name, Molasses G. George, I mean Molasses G. I can't believe I have to ask this, but why are you a sloth? Sloth's super happy, never feel sad. See, always smiling. George, you know those sloths are upside down. <laughs> George, it's okay. You can feel sad for your dumb fly baby. No, George just need to choose better animal that is never sad. Let's go. Sloths are so depressing. They're finally gone. Party! Birds always happy. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I think I think he's making fun of us. Why? 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 <laughs> Wait, you just like sloth. I don't see how these emotion sticks will make George any better. He's avoiding his feelings. Let's see him avoid 20,000 faults of them! George, you're back! And not sad anymore? No. George, fine. Are you sure? He said he's fine. Back off, knuckle-draggers! In case you're both dumb, which from the looks of you, name's Hank, and I'm taking care of Georgie Boy's emotions from here on in. All animals get sad. So George give all feelings to Hank. From the horse's mouth. Hey, gee, you know what would make your emotions real happy right now? Fixing them up a sandwich. Chop to it already, Jungle King. Lemurs, get the emotion sticks. Yeah, not your best sandwich, G, but it'll have to do. Until you make me a new one. Oh, hey, your emotions got mustard on their toes, and that makes them feel sad and stuff. You can fix that, can't you, Georgie boy? Give George back his feelings! Uh, you damn rotten lemur! I'm going anywhere. You got Wow, that eagle just ate Hank. Mm. Eagles are the only animals worse than lemurs. But hey, Hank's gone, George. That means you've got all your feelings back. Yay! <laughs> no, feelings in lemur. Now feelings gone forever. <laughs> Someone in danger must hurry. Baby monkey safe now. What, George have food caught in teeth? All you need is a good night's sleep, George. Everything will be brighter in the morning. Good boy. Jump, sit. 
George missed good times and bad times. Want emotions back now. That's excellent, George. Without your feelings, you're a terrible jungle king. No kidding. You didn't even notice this. What? George, understand. George, get feelings back. Finally! From Jerk Eagle. Ugh. Hey, Eagle, give feelings back. <laughs> Jerk Eagle. If anyone can catch an eagle in its natural habitat, it's... Not George, apparently. Hey, Eagle, give George back feelings so George can be mad at you. At least George can try... Again. Jerk Eagle gone. Lemur gone. Olaf gone. Feelings gone. George sad. George never feel anything again. George sad. Olaf hell gone. <laughs> George, George, your feelings are back. What? How he do that? Because you cried yourself a water slide of emotion down the volcano. Hooray! George happy again. And sad. And angry. And shocked. And worried. And ennui. But mostly happy. Now can you please do something about this? What? I'm not doing anything. Glad you're back, Jungle King. Sleep tight. Olaf, you finally get wings. George, happy to see you one last time. No! Jerk The jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. Uh... Oh! And watch out for the tree. Being the king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. Help eat me. And whatever that thing is. I is, is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food! Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish job, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave ho! <laughs> <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Tastes so good. Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. Good work, 
George. Now, there's a seven rhino pile upon the... Billy oh. say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ook, ook. Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you'd eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. Twas not I. Eek, ook, ook. Uh, eek, ook, ook. Belly, how could you? Actoon! You are like a zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! Oh. George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stop on space! Hey, that's my arm! Ow! Well, looks pretty normal to me. Oh, okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade-A gutworm right there. This correct, Flesh Houses, and my name is Sleepy. George want worm gone now. Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kaiser of Das Jungle? <laughs> yes, I laugh! <laughs> George, as King, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. <laughs> Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George not leave until Dr. Fix Worm. Suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lions. Elephant and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Help! George, save you! Ah, this place is so mess! Maybe if I move that over there. Grab hands! Don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! Right, quicksand. And then that over there. Who is this over here? Uh, <laughs> false alarm! Uh, I'm good! I'm huh, what his problem? Wonderful! You're to space now! <laughs> Slippy! Now do this! Oh, oh. <clears throat> this is what I wanted you to see. Jump. Worm, you ruined George's life! Worst animal ever! That's picnic, you are not either! You smell worse on the inside! You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize-winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glorp, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Too eighties! Nine! Too... Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Watch out for that spleen! George, 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 and a big snake is wet and soft and pink. 
really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. Then away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. George, George, George in a big snake. Glad it isn't me. George, we found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water, but hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? <gasps> George did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left, activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with floor. horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George. I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Gas quake! You can't cover me! Oh! George, there's always an after belt. Ah! never realize how hard it'd be to live inside animal. <gasps> Slippy living inside jungle, just like animals living outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Play again! Ow, uh, Slippy real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have this emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like snake. Ah. Uh. Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, mine work is complete. George is now better jungle kaiser. <laughs> George missed you, Slippy. <laughs> no need. I make eggs in all your mouths last night. Guten Tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth, hmm? Slot, 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 uh, slot green. Slot has scale. It's the brown one with fur. George saved slot. Yeah. <laughs> Both the grease monkey clan and the stink badgerinos <laughs> think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feel much better, but cave kinda messy. Very nice. Now where are they going to live? George love having house guests. Oh, oh. 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 Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! Oh, yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? 
That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagined. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha, George like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. <laughs> when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> oh, Ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. Come back, Ape. George, try harder. George, be better. George promised to change. Ow. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you need to know about bitey, bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they... Whoa, wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But, uh, George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend... Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this... I truly apologize. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I ape think this best. <laughs> now he tickles again. <laughs> oh! Anteater. Say the word. But, but George saved Sloth and Eagle Baby and swing good on fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, 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 there's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. Ew. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Uh, um, <laughs> Chef, play fetch. George. Hi, Ape. Just thought I'd drop in and... Ah! What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? 
Really? <laughs> George, jungle spirit scared way. Hmm. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um, hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Antidote. 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 Antidote! <laughs> Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor, but there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it is jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mill! <laughs> Okay, now. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> George, wake up! Time to come back! <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, Nut! Hurt, George? Hurt you? No! I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Antita! Is that? Pretty big ape! Antita! Antita! That thing! That's me! No! That big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape? It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Forgive, eh? Hey! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. 